Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are into watches, you should know that the Seiko 5 series come in a huge selection of watches. It is too big until some models get missed out sometimes. These SNXS models are one of the underrated Seiko 5 models that have been gaining some traction lately. The SNXS series comes in various colorways as NXS 73 with the white dial, 75 with the grey dial and gold markers, and this 77 with the blue dial, and there's a 79 with a grey dial. So without further ado, let's get into the dimensions of this piece. The watch has a case diameter of 37 millimeters. It has a thickness of 11.6 millimeters. The lug to lug distance is 42.8 millimeters and it has a very odd 19mm lug width. I think these are one of the few Seiko 5s that has this kind of odd lug width as most of the Seiko 5s out there, they are either 18 or 20. The case is entirely polished with a high polished bezel. There is a crown at the 4 o'clock position and it is a push-pull unsigned crown which is very typical of a Seiko 5. From the side, the lugs do not bend downwards, making it look like a UFO, in my opinion. The straight lugs make this watch wear a little high. We will talk about that later during the wrist shot. The top is a hardlex crystal, which is a Seiko slightly toughened mineral crystal. It has a water resistance of 30 meters. As with most of the Seiko 5, this piece is powered by the 7S26 movement. It is a Seiko workhorse movement that has been around since 1996. It is not hand windable and non-hackable. It beats at 21,600 beats per hour and has a rated accuracy of minus 20 to plus 40 seconds per day. It has a power reserve of approximately 40 hours. The movement can be seen through an open case bag covered by a mineral crystal. Again, another typical trait of Seiko 5s. The face is the main attraction of this piece. This SNXS 77 comes with the blue sunburst dial that changes its shade from royal blue to dark navy blue to almost black under different lighting. The hour markers are what make this piece stands out from other Seiko 5s out there. The marker has a very similar look to a Rolex Oyster Perpetual. The polished rectangular raised markers are applied and they are filled with Lumibrite, which is Seiko's proprietary loom compound. The dial really look way more expensive than its price tag. The polished rectangular hour and minute hands are filled with loom too. The combination looks simple yet elegant. There is also a day and date window which is framed by a metallic frame. Let me just move the hands away so that you can see them more clearly. Okay, there is a day and date window. Alright, before we move on further to the bracelet, let me just say this. Most of the Seiko 5's bracelets are a little underwhelming, this piece included. However, there are some better ones though. For this piece, it has hollow end links. All the links are hollow and the clasp is just a pressed metal friction fitted clasp that, it, that is quite difficult to lock and unlock. To make matter worse, this piece comes with a 19 millimeters lug width. This limits the number of aftermarket straps out there. All the links on the bracelet are brushed and they look out of place on the shiny watch case. I'm not sure because if you look at it, the case is high polished. However, all the bracelet are brushed. Okay, let's do a reshot then. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, this piece does sit a little tall on the wrist. If you have a small wrist like me, there will be quite a huge gap between the lug and your wrist. I'm not sure if you're able to see that. It's kind of hard for me to get it to the right angle. Yep. 
Luckily, the, the short lug to lug distance does help it appear better on the wrist when you're looking it from top down. Alright, with the wrist shot done, let's wrap this video up. Seiko 5 is like an ocean of different watches and certain model this goes under the radar due to the overwhelming numbers of different models. But when you find an interesting model, just grab it before the price shoots up. There are some Seiko 5s that has its price gone up so far due to a sudden increase in its popularity. No, I'm not asking you to buy and invest, but at such affordable price of around 80 US dollars for a decent automatic watch, what could you lose by picking up one and enjoying it? Alright, that's it for this video. Please don't forget to follow me on my Instagram at gfw underscore watch for more watch pictures. And if you're new to the channel, please help by subscribing to my channel. It does help me a lot. Till then, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.